So this is the egg section of Woolworths Metro, which has full shelves are now empty on those as well. So the water situation hasn't changed, obviously. Um, this is now filled up with bottles of mineral water, um, but there's still empty shelves. Same with the reconstituted juice. It's looking a little bit worse than before. I'm just looking around at prices to see if this affects the actual prices of certain items, whether they're more expensive. It doesn't seem to have affected prices yet. Even some chips are missing. They're not the plain chips, um, normal chips, they're the uh, healthy chips. So, um, cereal looks like it's pretty well stocked, although I am not sure because they're actually hiding some blank spaces behind by pushing product forward to make it look like it's filled, like the cornflakes. Um, so we don't really know unless you look behind carefully. Meat supply looks like it's a little bit low, although it could be because people are doing their shopping. This fridge always looks pretty empty, except there's plenty of barramundi and salmon still. Both skin on and skin off. I always buy skin on, never skin off because I don't know how long uh, it's been there for. So everything mince is a bit low too, it looks like. Yeah, pretty low on the mince. But yeah, it's pretty well stocked still. Chicken's a little bit sparse down the bottom. Again, they push the product to the front so it looks a little bit more filled up. So some of this is caused by the warehouse industrial action and some of it is because it's on sale. So it sells out pretty quickly. Uh, it's not to do with restocking because at the moment it's still early in the day so there's no restocking being done at the moment. So even some dinners, instant dinners, or whatever you call them, pre-packaged meals are a little bit sparse. You can see some of the pre-made items here a bit sparse as well. But it's not a disaster yet. I think people can still get by. Uh, with what's available, okay, if, even if they substitute for other products. So that's my little um, video on the status today of the works at Chatswood, Metro Chatswood. Um, it today is the um, 3rd, of De 3rd of December still. It's Tuesday. Boy, it's been a long day today. Sorry about that. Um, but I am a little bit tired. So yeah, it looks like it's pretty well stuff. There's some specials that are about to go off. Uh, so they're trying to sell it quicker. Some vegetables, fruit, and some tomatoes and fruit salad. Pairs are four dollars ninety four, and I think they're worth four dollars ninety four, even if they are about to be, be, be before their um, best before dates. And mess with fruit salad, I make my own, so I don't usually go and buy big packaged stuff. I might get some grapes actually, I haven't had those for a while, and maybe some blueberries, but they're rather expensive here, so I might have to shop around. Um, in terms of chicken, hot chicken, um, oh, there's no 
one left of the um, I was going to show you how expensive one product has become and that is the um, Chinese chicken wings and the buffalo chicken wings um, there weren't a lot of them today and the last one looks like it's been sold but they've gone up to about eight dollars a little tiny box not a little box but a, quite a little tiny box um, and there was something like four wings in them when there's usually double the amount in the past so thanks for watching it's pretty busy in here actually considering so see you in the next video